tennis ball. You know, I grabbed that tennis ball and now I'm thinking about tennis. And I'm like, how do we come up with the rules of tennis? How do we decide that, you know, it was one bounce before uh, the point was counted. Now like, the point counts on the second bounce instead of the first. You know, like it's, how do we decide those things? How long did it take? What did earlier versions of the rule set of tennis look like? What was allowed, what was not allowed? Was there ever a time where you weren't allowed to have it bounce at all? Did we originally use brackets? Did we use other things? How did the tennis ball, as we so know it, how did this come to be compared to, you know, other types of balls that exist? Now that I think, it, it, and tennis is like a super specific sport too, like, you got a racket and this ball and a court with a net on it. And like, when you think about, when you think about it, like, what usefulness does that have besides tennis? There's like not a lot of other, there's not like, you don't really get any skills out of it other than tennis. <laughs> like, how do we, how do we get tennis? Did it evolve from a different sport? Is it its own thing? What came before tennis to make tennis a game? What skill did that practice originally? Because, you know, when you go back in time, things are less developed. You go back far enough, you know, we have to like hunt for food and things. I can just go to the store and buy ground beef. Like I can just do that. But if you go back far enough, that's not an option anymore. You have to go for different options and eventually you're, you're the one doing the hunting yourself. And it's like, where does tennis play in all of that? 